state of emergency is a dynamic and cross-curricular experience designed for S2. It's being delivered by Visible Fiction's theatre company via the GLOW network, which is the Scottish Schools Intranet. Over the course of a week, S2 within Holy Cross High School will respond to four webisodes which will be streamed via GLOW. We've set up a pretense of um, the the state of emergency in an unidentified city and the young people have been shown the four webisodes. The webisodes have all been about a story where a city declared itself independence and was taken over by a re uh, rebels known as the Freedom Brigade and it was following a girl named Chloe as she was trying to survive in the uh, city. When Holy Cross was offered this project, we chose to grab it with both hands. It gave us a real opportunity to look at our own curriculum for excellence, our own practice for interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary teaching, and it was just a great idea, a great project that we could get involved in. We chose to not take our second year's off timetable, but to create lessons that would flow, hopefully, from the webisodes. Teachers have created the idea in some of the classes that the pupils have been plunged right into the state of emergency. They are not observers standing at the sidelines of looking at it. The young people will then go back to their classes and they will work across the curriculum with a variety of different teachers throughout their timetable. For example, home economics, the pupils have been plunged into a situation where they are refugees in a refugee camp. They only have a certain amount of time that the power will be on to create a meal with a very limited set of uh, ingredients and if they run out, if they haven't got their meal cooked and their family fed, by the time the power gets switched off again, that's too bad. In tech we learned how to make toilets for refugee camps and maths we were learning about how war cuts off like phone lines and that we were learning how to join them together. Specifically in English we've been doing a newspaper as if we were part of either the rebel or the government side and it's all been about propaganda and trying to uh, convince people to come over to our side. Well, in PE we're doing this thing called Sniper Alley. That is when the teacher will set up an obstacle. Then you have to make your way through the town and to collect valuables. So a valuable, like you can be tend to say a bottle of water, that could be a valuable. It's really quite exciting because you feel like you're actually in the town. The project has been running intensively within this school over the course of the past week, but it's also been running intensively in six other schools, so seven schools in total across Scotland. At 11 o'clock we're having a GLOW meet, which is a, using GLOW as the facilitator for all seven schools being able to speak to each other and give a, a thumbnail outline of what they've been doing during the course of the week. Here in Holy Cross we have two S2 pupils who are going to give a, a pretend news report on the state of emergency in Holy Cross and how all the classes have been responding to that state of emergency. Good morning, this is the news with Eden McIntyre and Kieran Stewart. Messages have been intercepted by a man from the Ministry and every department in the school has been responding to the webisodes viewed. The school internet was compromised by the rat. A subversive blog has been spreading like a virus. Just like the propaganda, government authorities and the anarchists have produced posters which have been posted around the school. We drew the information from our skip from the classes and the subjects that we have been in following on from the webisodes. How do you stock a shop where no other country is allowed to trade with you? in case you turn eggs into explosives. I think the webisode was a good way to get the information across to the pupils and it was quite shocking in episode four when Chloe was killed. When the, um, the live broadcast started off we were a bit nervous but as it um, continued and we knew what to do it, would, we just, it was just became easy. The state of emergency gave the whole school an opportunity to work as a team, a major, major step forward for some departments to work with other departments, to follow on from what they had been doing and to see the relevance in their own subject for other areas of the curriculum. And it's been a really good experience from that point of view. The teamwork element has been magnificent. As well as encouraging the use of GLOW, we also hope that pupils will get an insight into what it is like to be a society who is in a state of conflict. The first thing you need to survive an aerial bombardment is this. 
it catches the glass when your window explodes. Having a more like hands-on approach with the uh, learning and stuff is it's far better than just learning it through a book. If you're just reading a book, you're just absorbing the information, whereas this you really get involved with it. This is the first time that we have run State of Emergency, bringing in a theatre company to facilitate this type of project and using GLOW. As it has been such a success, we would certainly look to see if there was any way that we could replicate this or do something very similar in the future. Another top tip. When you find yourself in this situation, forget everyone else and think of yourself.